you have one guy to be your next screensaver on your phone, number one on your next hit list. Is that Triple G or there's somebody else? I would love it for, to be Golovkin because he's on the way out. And and I want to get a chance to fight one of the best Hall of Famers like of, that ever did it. I mean, he's going to, that's like, I mean, a lot of people around the world want to see it too. I mean, the dude is is amazing. So I, mean, I want to get in there with him and test my talents too. You make you wait for him against Canelo and all that kind of stuff. Excuse me one second. Eventually, I go. Hey, what's hey, up, brother. baby? Listen. Appreciate it. It's all Brooklyn, man. It's Brooklyn. Brooklyn I love loves Brooklyn. you. I love Brooklyn. Brooklyn I love loves Brooklyn. you, man. No, I really love Brooklyn. All right, buddy. I appreciate Thank you it. for everything. You've been you saying this about yourself for such a long time, and it kind of fallen on the deaf ears. I remember uh, a few years ago, you kept saying, I'm the best at, at 154. Uh, me and my brother are the best in this division. What does it mean for you to finally start getting that respect from media, from fans, from people, and giving you your just dues now? Uh, I earn my respect. Um, it's been a long time coming, like I said, you know. I've been in, I've been into some some bad situations too. It hasn't, I haven't just took the, the, the so-called easy route. I mean, you go with 26 and one, it wasn't like, it wasn't a Trump. I just didn't get it, get, give y'all a chance to show him any, any type of, you know, what he could do, any talent or anything that he progressed in. I was gonna shut the game plan down like I told y'all. I made, like I said, I hope I made the statement that I was supposed to make. Um, I'm ready for the next level. They can't keep putting people in here that's 26 and one then. You feel me? Like, I'm ready. Jamal, are you at the peak now? Are you peaking uh, in terms, you know? Nah, cause my mental hasn't met up with my physical. When my mental meets up with my physical, then I can consider me being at my peak in my prime of my life. And I'm not there yet. I know I'm still getting smarter. I'm still learning. I'm still growing. Um, I'm, I'm just, I mean, it wasn't easy in it. I just made it look easy. What's your turnaround? How long do you want to? How long do you want to be idle right now? Um, I was promised in August, so I should be back in August. Um, probably in my hometown. Um, maybe take a nice little another fight. I want to stay active because I don't want anybody to 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 think that I'm. I'm, I'm, I'm not training, I'm not working. So I want to continue to keep fighting. I want to deliver the fans some, some more explosive fights, some more explosive knockouts. Well, I got that window opportunity right here, so I'm, I'm ready. What happens in a fight between you and Gennady Golovkin or Canelo Alvarez? What happens in a fight? You answer that. Yeah, I'm asking you. You answer it. I, I don't know. If I could ever get a chance to fight any one of those guys, I guarantee you'll see them get hit a lot more than they've been hit, and you'll see them miss a lot more punches than they ever missed. It'll be a real live boxing match. I'm here to fight. Would you Thank you guys. We're we'll wrapping it up, Sean. Maybe, but I know I'll be able to take a punch. Well, they got Thank fight you guys. Next week. Appreciate it. I'll be there. I'll be there. I'll be there. Yeah. Yeah. Come through. All right.